G'day guys, welcome back to another day in London here today. We're checking out Camden Town. Now, Camden Town is famed for its markets, for its counterculture, especially the alternative punk and rock cultures. And uh, it's known for having a ton of markets and food stalls from all around the world. So today we're going to be going for a bit of a wander without a plan, just walking, talking to strangers and uh, taking some photos. So this main street is just full of markets. When I mean full of markets, like every square inch is just selling t-shirts or sunnies or souvenirs, food. It's literally packed. You know, it's interesting because usually you see this kind of volume of stalls and markets overseas. India, Malaysia, Thailand, Bali. But seldom do you actually see it in a lot of Western countries. So this is a nice, refreshing market experience. They even got light up t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we've probably got to go inside with It feels like more of a nightclub than a market here, to be honest. Everybody's in a rush here. Yeah, yeah. It's just filled with all of these eclectic markets, music from around the world. I can hear Latin music. There was some reggae earlier and some rock. Fresh orange juice. nice to know that they also accept credit and debit card because a lot of these markets usually around the world will only take cash. Let's go for a wander down here. That is groovy. It's a reggae and rum bar. Some awesome graffiti. Got a Brazilian place. <laughs> An old record store. Okay. Hebden. That's Hebden. different yeah. to like Hebden, Hebden yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. There's Gerald. Do you have heard of Gerald's Shield? No. Ooh, I've heard of some Shields. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. David Bowie. I like Amy Winehouse, a classic. Got a lot of graffiti and street art here. It's all kind of wrapping around these back streets. They've got some canals down here as well. They seem to be really popular. Let's go for a bit of a wander over this bridge, shall we? More food stalls, actually it's just packed with them. We got Venezuelan, Mexican, Bangra, Lebanese, Argentine steaks and burgers, wow. People eating in these glass igloos. Mm, the smell. 
smell is just so good. Delicious. It's this big melting aroma of all these different cuisines. Well, it looks like we're out of the main market area and now I've been told by local friends to continue walking in this direction. Now there apparently is a Amy Winehouse statue as well as something called Cyberdog and I was told not to look up or research Cyberdog before I got there. So let's see what Cyberdog is all about. <laughs> We made it to Cyberdog and I've no idea what the hell it is but uh yeah let's let's check out Cyberdog level oh my god so it's all about rave culture and of course London is known for having a massive rave culture Basically everything you need for a rave, you've got right here. Even underwear. Just curious, so Cyber Dog is all about like rave culture in England, I'm guessing. Uh, like... So I'm going to do it with like cyber, more like cyber gothy. Cyber what, like sorry? Cyber goth. Cyber goth, okay. Yeah, and then now it's kind of like, a bit of cyber goth, but yeah. then also like very like things you'd wear to go like to a rave, rave or yeah. like festivals. And is it like London that's mostly like a hub for raving yeah, so, in the country uh, or? I don't know, well London is like the city in it, like they've got a lot of events that happen yeah. here, like when you think about anything big it normally happens in London, yeah. so I don't know, it's just always been in London like it used to be one of the, I think it used to be one of the old the one-stop shop for kind of everything. Yeah, it? no, it's good. It's definitely good, especially like during this time because everyone's going to like festivals and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's good for that time. Yeah. Oh, They've even got a DJ deck here. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't say I've seen anything like this anywhere else in the world, especially not in Australia. Who needs to go actually to a rave when you just stand in there, buy your outfit, and just go for a rave? Straight away. <laughs> Straight into Cyberdog. You'd never leave Cyberdog. A little bit of this intermittent summer rain in London right now, so we're gonna push on after Cyberdog and now check out the Amy Winehouse statue. Looks like it's just down here on the other side. Looks like they've got a Hansel and Gretel store here as well. Wow, look at this place, it's like magical. Mm, looks delicious. Looks like they've got every possible type of candy here that you could add onto your ice cream as well. So here behind me is the Amy Winehouse statue made from bronze. It's gorgeous. 
Uh, and I think it really encapsulates her sort of flair and her personality. Amy Winehouse is actually one of my favorite singers. You know, she had this eclectic mix of soul, rhythm, blues, and jazz, this raspy voice, this, you know, sometimes controversial lifestyle, uh, and seemingly a really nice person. So, you know, she obviously died at 27, joined that 27 club. So the likes of Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, a lot of these musical greats. But um, yeah, it's nice to see that they have a bronze statue kind of commemorating this musical and lyrical great. So just started to see these alternatives, these punks. You know, which Camden town is famed for. They weren't really around early morning, but um, yeah, as the sun sets, slowly we're starting to get more of that alternative culture coming out, probably getting ready to go to the pubs, go to like live music concerts. So yeah, really cool to get a glimpse into that alternative culture here in Camden town. So I hope you guys enjoy this random walk through Camden town talking to strangers, seeing the random eclectic alternative sites, and I will see you guys in the next video.